Bonjour à tous. Welcome back to Feeling What I Thought. I am Madame Cordel, and today we are going to continue working on speaking questions for SIM 1, Unit 1. Uh, si vous êtes prêts, c'est parti, on y va. So today's question is, est-ce que la famille est importante pour toi? So is family important to you? So again, I've highlighted the keyword here, which is pour toi, uh, which indicates that you have to specifically express your opinion in order to be able to answer this question. Um, at the end of this video, I will give you a list of uh, expressions, verbs uh, that you can use to be able to express your opinion. It's important that you diversify them as well, whether it be in your speaking or in your writing. So make note of those um, if you feel you need a few more uh, to be able to express yourself. Okay? Donc, uh, I'm going to give you three sample answers as always. Um, take the elements that you need to be able to formulate your own answer. Okay, so here is the first one. À mon avis, la famille est vraiment importante. Je pense que l'on peut toujours compter sur ses parents et ses frères et sœurs. Cependant, je ne crois pas que cela soit le cas pour les amis, car la famille, c'est pour la vie. Okay, so this is your first sample answer. Putting a cornet there um, for reference. Uh, always make sure that we check as many of those as possible. Um, let's start with the adjectives. Okay, so we have one which is important. Um, note here that I've um, circled the expressions that relate back to the question that we have to incorporate in our answer, which is your opinion. Okay, so we've got a connective there, cependant, which means however. A good one for you to know if you don't already. Three opinions, à mon avis, je pense, and le verbe croire here, which is to believe. Okay, we've expressed um, the justification once using car. Um, we have want um, the negative structure in here. Je ne crois pas, we've used the ne pas. We have a couple of intensifiers with vraiment and toujours. And you will notice that we have two tenses in this one. So or, again, we've used the present tense here because the question invites us to use the present tense to answer it. And then here we've added the subjunctive. Je ne crois pas que cela soit le cas. D'accord? Alors maintenant, euh, nous allons faire euh, la deuxième réponse. Let's go to the second simple answer. Selon moi, la famille est extrêmement importante, même si on ne s'entend pas toujours très bien avec eux. En effet, d'après moi, les amis, ça va, ça vient, mais la famille, c'est pour la vie, car ils sont toujours là pour nous. Ok so, in here, we've used selon moi and d'après moi. You will notice that for the opinion, uh, which links back to the question. Uh, we have, again, important in the answer um, as the adjective. We have a couple of connectives with en effet and mais. Uh, we have uh, justified here with a reason car. You could also use parce que if you wanted to. Uh, we have the negative structure once, même si on ne s'entend pas toujours très bien. And this in here, you can notice we've got toujours un trait, um, and we've got toujours actually twice in here. And we have the adverb here, extrêmement. And we have used the present tense to answer this question, okay? Simple answer three. La famille n'est pas très importante pour moi. Je pense que mes amis sont plus importants car ils m'écoutent et me conseillent. En revanche, mes parents me critiquent souvent et je n'aime pas ça. So for this answer, I went the other way to the other two just to give you a different kind of answer um, to use. 
Um, so we have important as the adjective to make sure that we answer the question. We've got a couple of connectives there. En revanche, and it is a nice one, easy one to incorporate in your writing. Um, we've got our opinion a couple of times, pour moi and je pense. Car, again, for the reason. We have a couple of negative structures here with ne pas. Donc, la famille n'est pas très importante. Et je n'aime pas ça. Uh, we have a couple of intensifiers with très and souvent. Souvent means often. And we have, again, the present tense to answer um, the question, which is, you know, formulated in the present tense. Okay? So, um, again, take the elements from these um, sample answers to formulate your own. If you have any questions, if anything is not clear, please do let me know in the comment below. Okay, so now we're going to go over these sample answers and uh, I'm going to give you some structures to be able to incorporate in your speaking and in your writing in order to be able to formulate your opinion. Okay. Uh, alors, maintenant, nous allons lire uh, les trois réponses et vous allez aussi avoir les sous-titres en bas en français. C'est parti. À mon avis, la famille est vraiment importante. Je pense que l'on peut toujours compter sur ses parents et ses frères et sœurs. Cependant, je ne crois pas que cela soit le cas pour les amis, car la famille, c'est pour la vie. Selon moi, la famille est extrêmement importante, même si on ne s'entend pas toujours très bien avec eux. En effet, d'après moi, les amis, ça va, ça vient, mais la famille, c'est pour la vie, car ils sont toujours là pour nous. La famille n'est pas très importante pour moi. Je pense que mes amis sont plus importants, car ils m'écoutent, et me conseille. En revanche, mes parents me critiquent souvent et je n'aime pas ça. Voilà, donc vous avez euh, trois réponses possibles euh, qui, j'espère, vous aideront à formuler vos propres réponses. Bon courage Okay, so as promised, now we are going to go over some uh, opinion expressions. So there are um, a few that I've um, made note of for you that are nice and easy to incorporate in your writing. Just be careful for some of them. Uh, the spelling can be a little bit tricky sometimes. So just try and memorize obviously the spelling as well so that you can use that in your writing. Okay. So here they are. Okay, starting with à mon avis, uh, which is one I believe I used earlier in one of my sample answers. Okay, it means in my opinion. D'accord? D'après moi means according to me. Selon moi, which is a synonym really, also means according to me. À mes yeux. Um, means in my eyes. Je pense que. I think that. Je crois que. I believe that. Je considère que. I consider that. Je trouve que. I find that. J'estime que. I guess that, il me semble que, it seems to me that, personnellement, personally, okay, so look out for the accents on a, in a mon avis, d'après moi, again, à mes yeux, je considère que, um, accents are really quite important in your writing, uh, but obviously for the speaking one, um, you won't be able to see that, but be careful the pronunciation, okay? 
Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe. If there are any topic or tenses you would like me to cover, then please let me know in the comments below. Good luck with your revisions and um, I will see you soon. Au revoir.